it's no longer a secret that the researching environment is changing and more specifically that the researching process is becoming significantly easier due to the rise in artificial intelligence. Now we have programs like ChatGPT, which are trained on mountains of data that have the capability to search that data process it, and then deliver it back to you in a conversational medium. And the wild thing is it does this in a matter of seconds. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. All you need to do is learn how to communicate with ChatGPT effectively. And the way you do this is through prompting. A prompt is basically the input you create that determines the output you receive. Now, most prompts are typically structured as a question. And yeah, it's pretty easy stuff. There are two mistakes that tend to happen though, and that is number one, that people will ask questions that are too simple, or number two, they don't have a clear goal. So to access the true power of ChatGPT, you need to start your prompts by define your goal. So let's say you're in a marketing course and you've been assigned to write this 16 page research paper about the concept of search engine optimization. In order to define your goal, what I would recommend doing is going through those instructions and picking out the relevant keywords, the important phrases, things that you need to research in order to meet the criteria for that assignment. So let's say your first goal might be to simply understand the concept of search engine optimization. So your first prompt might be something like, what is search engine optimization? Now, remember, asking simple questions is going to lead to simple answers. So as you can see, what we're getting right now, this is the Webster's Dictionary version of what SEO is. It's very dry. And if anything, it's causing more confusion because it's just listing words that you're not familiar with. So other concepts and other keywords that you haven't yet gotten to, and it's not really helping you understand what SEO is. So instead, you're gonna take that goal, take those keywords you uncovered, and provide some context. So instead, your first prompt might read something like, I'm writing a 16 page paper for my marketing course. The purpose of this paper is to closely examine the concept of search engine optimization and how it can drive consistent traffic to a website, which will generate organic leads for an online business. To start, please help me understand the concept of search engine optimization. Now ChatGPT has the context for your goal and it's gonna tailor its response to it. So take a look. First, you can see that the overall tone has changed. It's switched to a conversational, almost person-like tone, and it's doing a better job of meeting this goal because as you can see, it explains what search engine optimization is, what it involves, and then it ends with this nice little summary, really rounding out your understanding. With this response, you might take route one, which is, all right, that met that goal. Now I'm going to incorporate more of my assignment criteria. Or you might take route two, you don't understand search engine optimization yet. And so you're gonna ask it to explain it differently. And this is where the fun begins because you can simply ask ChatGPT to reword the response. You can specifically ask it to explain it to a five-year-old. And one of my favorites is you can ask ChatGPT to populate a response that's a bullet point list. And that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to different prompts you can ask ChatGPT. And quite frankly, if you wanna learn all of the brilliant prompts you can ask, be sure to check out this video next.